Let's go to Liverpool. Uh, yes. Uh, Gravenberg, I think, uh, good signing. I think what we were looking for is we wanted bodies in the midfield. I think uh, this transfer window, we've, we've managed to get uh, to get that. I think maybe just my worry is on the DM bit. I thought maybe we'll get just uh, a DM. Menyata just sit up. Oh. Japanese Milner doesn't work for you? I've I've watched him. He's okay, but uh, maybe maybe for me, I said it was it. But <laughs> yeah. Let, let me say this. But we have we have <laughs> something that is functional. I think that's what we we, we go for. Graven but I think the idea probably with Klopp, he's a player who is uh, he's versatile. But I think the idea is maybe Klopp would want to turn him. Aquadium eventually. Mm. I think that's the idea. Who? Gravenberg. Gravenberg. Yes. yes. Mm. He's a good carrier of the bo- of the ball as well. He tackles when need be. He can tackle. So I think that is the idea. Uh-huh. Maybe he will grow into into that position. But I'm okay. Just my worry, maybe defensively. I wish we added maybe uh, another centre back there. Mm. But yeah, so far I can give a window maybe a six. Chef, six I'm, out of I'm ten. I'm curious. Um, yeah. You lost uh, three midfielders: Hendo, Hendo Fabinho, Ifa. and Milner, mm-hmm. and then you brought in three midfielders. Uh, and Maka, in fact, yes. it's 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 three, yeah. Four. Okay, let's say four. It's four, midfielders. four midfielders. Do you think, you know, prime like Hendo, Fabinho, and um, and uh, Milner? Do you think it's an upgrade if you compare to? It's an upgrade, but brought? I can't say at pr- you, you can't say prime as compared to the, the the season we had last season or compared for the moment. All the players we have signed are upgrades, except now the maybe the Fabinho bit. Mm-hmm. There is a question mark for me. But for for Hendo, for Hendo, that is an upgrade because we had Hendo, Milner, Ox as well, Keita. Mm. So for me, what we've, we've brought in is an upgrade. If you had Fabinho in that midfield, you guys would have been <laughs> way better uh, without Fabinho, him. I think uh, yes, that's the only that's, position that that's you guys That's the only position I have a question mark about. But everything else around, uh, I'm okay. Very, very good players we have. Well, I thought getting Graven back was a, was a home run for you because I, mm. I, I had watched him, I think, two seasons ago at Ajax and I thought it was a, he was a really good player. Mm. I, I think Jagen Klopp will be ignoring the fact that he went to Bayern Munich and only had three starts in, the, in, in, in Bayern. Uh, and of course, it's, it's a hard job trying to out, outstep the likes of Kimmich and Goretzka in that midfield. But I think he's a he's a wonderful player. He's I think he just made himself. the wrong choice. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, he, d- he did another guard. To, to Real. To Madrid. Yes, yeah. mm. yes, yes. But, but, but also on the centre-back, I agree with her. Uh, you, uh, if you look at the situation right now, probably, like with Vajib and Dijk injured, and, and you're co- uh, suspended, oh, suspended, then you have Konate Kona Kona injured. Out, yeah. yeah, you could need so an extra So it's Mati it's it's and, and Gomez. And Gomez. Yeah. But Gomez looked okay, to be he's honest. Yeah. Guys, he's guys, he's Gomez looked all right last week. I know. Yeah, he was okay last he week. He looked all right. You yeah. see, he's also just needed time. Since he got that injury, he just hasn't yeah. been himself. Yes. Uh, yeah. But I think on the whole, Liverpool did the best they could. I think the story for Liverpool is very simple. It is... Do you sell Salah when someone offers you 150 million pounds? I think that's the question. Yes. For all, for the Liverpool side, do you sell Salah? Yes. When you offered 150 million pounds, mm. you know what I think? Let me first off. Chep, what do you think? Do you sell him? 150. Mm. <laughs> no. And they were willing to come back with 200. Ah, uh, 150 no. Cuz what I'm looking at, Salah gives you the consistent consistency Salah had. He gives you 30 plus goals for he's been in the Premier League 6 years, 6 mm. 5 years. 30 plus goals. Who in the market at the moment, at that position, can give you 30 plus goals? You and know, the way the yeah. crazy market is, even 150 probably won't get you. You know what I thought? Yeah. If Liverpool gets this offer in July, they're selling him. Ali. If, I, I Liverpool, if Liverpool gets this offer two weeks before the close of the deadline window, they are moving him. Yeah. Yeah. He's 31 years old. You refuse 150. You let them come back with 200, which mm-hmm. is a world record fee. Yeah. And then you realize he's 31 anyway. Mm-hmm. So you get 200 million. You get his crazy wages off your book. And now this rebuild goes on proper. Mm. I, th- I think the only problem is that the deal came Let's on the last late, day of the yeah. window. So yeah. Liverpool are like, so what do we do? That's the thing. If they come back in, in January, you guys are selling salary. I'm, I'm January, no. no. I it, think it next has season. to be in the summer. I'm not worried for, for me, this season. For me, this season, season, I'm not worried. I think he'll be there. Yeah, My worry now maybe is now. D- the biggest worry for you season. guys is, can Luis Diaz be fit? Can Jota be fit? All right. Luis Diaz because, is fine. Left. We, yeah, but I'm just saying, uh, it, it can they be fit? Because when you had Salah, Firmino, and uh, Mane, they were fit the whole season. Yeah, they were. They were they relatively. Right. They the stayed. only worry for Pep is if Luis Diaz gets injured, then Salah has to play all the games. 
At least now you can you have the luxury of subbing Salah. But, yeah, but if you get to January in different positions though. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah but, but I get saying like you need you need, you need fit guys. I think it's need. purely a matter I I agree with David Onstein who said every player has a price. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Every player can has yeah. a price. Mm-hmm. If this happens a month before Liverpool give it a serious yeah, thought, yeah. they and move him for 200 million. The only thing they say, we are going to take it, but hold on, we look for a player who can replace him. Mm-hmm. We agree that deal, then we release it so that you don't get the money, then look for a player. Yeah, yeah. you need mm. proper planning. Because it's too, if, if they give you 200 million, they, they, the initial offer was 150, yeah. they yes. said they'd go to 175, yes. some sources said all the way up to 200. Yeah. You push the way Ajax pushed United with Anthony. <laughs> push, push, push until they give you 200 and then you walk away, you take your 200. The wages, they were offering him okay. are out of this world 1.5 million pounds a week yeah. boss i'm gone <laughs> if i'm salah <laughs> i am gone yeah, I am I know, I, that is his final his destination but i like the fact that he's held like, his agent tweeted ali was it in ali ali august or yes. late july yeah, when he said listen if you were to move you need to have send a new deal contract, mm. yeah. so i like that okay. i like that he's held on to it mm. but i think it's a nice move do i think liverpool liverpool's Windows has been interesting because they've been forced to do things yeah. Yeah. that they didn't want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they've been forced to and they have done them. Yeah. Let me come to who I think are the biggest losers of this window. Not really biggest <laughs> losers, but I think the team that didn't have a good window. Okay. You guys ever thought United would be here scraping loan deals? No. 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 Um, let, me, let, me, let me start first off with the, the signings that you made even before the season began. Because I thought there were issues that needed to be addressed from last season. So you needed to get a goalkeeper. And you get Andre Onana, uh, you probably needed a striker. Uh, you get Rasmus Hoyland, though, on a, on a very high price for the number of games he's played in Atalanta. And then you get Mason Mount, because, of, of course, you needed someone else to, 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 to sit alongside Casemiro. So on that front, I thought that was a decent job. But then I guess the other signings that you've made have been kind of reactionary, maybe based on the circumstances, injuries to, the, to, to some of the team uh, players this season, and also the fact that maybe you have not looked good enough this season. So you, you, you get Sofia Namrabat on a, on a loan deal, uh, because United is teetering on the, on the FFP line. You, you have to find a way in which you get him o- on a cheap right now, but you're still going to pay him. So you get him on a 10 million loan deal, but then he's going to increase to the 30 million. So, in, so you're going to be getting him for 30 million. And then uh, you look on the other side, uh, <laughs> look who is injured. So you, and Malassi is also injured. So you, you, you just go for Sergio Reguion, which I think it's, it's not a proper signing, to, to be honest with you. So uh, 50-50 for me, it's 50-50. Great to start, but bad in the end. United feel like a team that is not sure where they're going. Yeah. Initially, yes. Decisive to get Onana, fantastic. Decisive mm-hmm. to get Highland, I don't Perfect. think of the price maybe, uh, but decisive. Yes. Mm-hmm. Decisive to get Mason Mount, I think overpriced. I think wrong signing, but mm-hmm. that's just me. I don't see where he fits at all at United. I don't see it. The first two games I saw, I didn't see it. Yeah. Uh, but then again, who am I? I'm, I'm just a villager. Okay. But I don't see it. Yes. Maybe at some point we will see it. Yeah. But I just, I, you know the way you see a signing and it fits? You know the way when all of us say, uh city have signed nunez we go like we see it why is, yeah. we see what's the plan mm. when you're told united have signed mason mount sammy has a wonderful explanation why he fits i don't see it i don't get it i it, well it, it, i don't see it at all i i look at him and i try to see what exactly does he bring i don't get it uh maybe he'll show us later Mm. But I'm just not seeing it. Amrabat is a good deal. I just wonder why it took 50 years to get it done. And if the first offer was 1 million pounds, come on. Uh, <laughs> what the heck is <laughs> this? And time. I don't get Region, but I'd rather Region than, than Kukure. Than mm. yeah, 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 yeah. I will, but there I'll give him marks for getting Region mm. rather than, than, than. But I looked at it, United still look like a, like, like haphazard in a bit. Yes. Initially, mm. they look a bit haphazard. It doesn't help that. They are on sale, they are not on sale, they are on sale, they are not on sale. Now the latest news is that they are not on sale until next year because the owner uh, feel they didn't get the valuation valuation they wanted. They wanted seven billion, they are getting six. So it it doesn't help. Yeah, and Mm. the green room situation also. Added noise. Yes, because, and I am with Elijah 100%. When he spoke about this earlier in the week, United were just 
weird in how they dealt with Greenwood. They would have been more decisive. Yeah. This would have ended. They would have decided we are bringing him back and you mm. started from day one. But United look like, now we are bringing him back. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. we are not yeah. bringing him yeah. back. Now we are bringing him back. Now we are loaning him off to Hetafe. Mm. Now we want Onana. Now we want De Gea. But now we want Onana. But now we want Kukurea. But now we want Region. Uh, but now we were not sure we want... Ma- you get? Like yeah. there is lack of... Clarisiveness. Let's mm. hit and go. Mm. But on the whole, I think their window has been meh. Yes. It's been meh. It has, United are yet to get a player who's like a super duper superstar that makes you go like, oh yes, mm. he mm. lifts them up. United mm. are doing a Chelsea without the money. Yeah, Chelsea are just signing, but without the money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, that's the way I feel. Anyway, and, not, and, and, and just to add, maybe I, I felt probably we needed another right back because I am not you fully have two. Yeah, I'm not fully sold on Diogo Dalot and and of course you know the the inefficiency limitations. That we, yes. No, please don't call him inefficiency. Yeah. The limitations of Bilenge Musika. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I would have done with a proper right back. Who? Yeah, I get you. Jemo. Yes. I think they have had a bad transfer window. Let's, yeah, let's, I, let's look at it. Cuz I, I can't see a player who lifts who, the team's gets quality to the next up. level. What United Maybe, need to do Is that Onana? Mm, no, I, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. No. What United needed to do was get rid of the dead wood. Uh, Why well, you don't right? go there? Mm. That, for me, for starters, get rid of Martial, get rid of uh, Maguire. Maguire, get rid of this Van Fred, Maxos, yes. Van yeah, Maxos, Van, Van der Beek, Beek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get rid of one of the centre backs. Have they already sold Jones? Wha- wha- oh, the then they, you get Jones. Maguire. He left. Yeah. He left. Yeah, okay. yeah, Jones left. Then <laughs> Johnny Evans. Then you bring in Johnny Evans. Yeah. Lindelof. Yeah. What's the future with Lindelof? No, yeah, but what's the future with Lindelof? What the, the, United need to do? I can tell do? you what the problem is with United at the back. I can tell you, but let's do this. Let's talk about it later. We talk about their partnerships and what I think is the problem at the back, especially because there's a problem, and that's why they seem confused mm. for the lack of a better word. There's a problem there because mm. uh, let, let's do that when we, let's, we'll do that when we talk about United versus <laughs> Arsenal because we do that because now this confusion will go there. Let's come back and talk about yesterday's games. I'll also yeah. read your comments. Thank you so much to everyone who's talking to us. Uh, we'll start with yesterday's games because there's quite a number of games and. Uh, Maybe I can have my rant for two minutes about Burnley and then we can move mm-hmm. on. Yes. <laughs> Me, I, uh, yes, because I've made up my mind what I think. It's the Premier League. All on PSTV. All the goals, clashes and moments. All of Rashford, Salah and Saka. All in the language of your choice. All in HD. Available on all these bouquets to choose from. On all these devices. Dial star 43 hash or download my DSTV app to get a DSTV HD decoder with one month of family for just 2,999 Kenya shillings. It's the Premier League on DSTV.